Okay, just before we get into this, if you can click that like button or give an old subscribe, uh, I'm going to be doing a couple more videos like this in the future. So please uh, just show your support. Thanks very much. Okay, so um, yeah, this video is basically to explain how this mode here works, the track mode. Because uh, I just figured this out and it's been kind of bugging me for a long time as to how it works. So I'm just going to go through exactly how that works. So what, what it basically is, is it's, um, it's kind of a, a method for combining multiple patterns together in one, one uh, song. So, or one track. Now you see over here as well, we have sections over here, which is like I, two, three, and four. And each section has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these actually represent the, the, when I select here, okay, I have a bank of patterns. And when I go to two, I have, a, I have exactly the same patterns on one and two. They're actually just on one or I. And one and two actually refer to the tracks. So I can make two tracks out of the patterns that I have stored in the section of I. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can do that with this as well in II or two. Uh, the patterns you have stored in two, you can make two tracks out of uh, two tracks out of this and one track out of the last end of patterns. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a track out of three patterns. And I'll show you what patterns I'm talking about. So these ones are kind of like straightforward four to the four floor kind of stuff. So I'm going to basically do three of these, then one of these shuffly ones, and then three of these, and then another shuffly one. Okay. So to do that, I have to select a pattern group, which I'm going to select pattern group four on two. And that uh, it's not pattern group, sorry. Pattern group is two and then track, track four. I'm going to make track four. So I'm going to go up to the track mode select right now i'm in track mode now basically i don't know where i am in the track or what the first fourth section of the track is but i'm assuming that it may maybe i'm not in the right position so to to rewind the track back to the start you have to press clear okay now something might happen you mightn't see any lights regardless of what you see you have to press clear to go back to the start so to import the, import the first track you do this while the unit is playing, okay? And you, 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 you basically what you do is, you select the track you want, you write it into memory, it goes on to the next track, then you select the track you want, you write it into the memory, goes on to the next track, you select the track you want, write it into the memory, go on to the next track, okay? So I'll show you, watch. So, and you press play, okay? Press play. So I don't want this one starting, I want this one. So I'm going to write that in. Now it's going to go back to what the next track is, but I don't want that one. I want this one. And one more. Write this one. Now I'm going to keep this one. Now I'm going to go back to this one now. Write that in three times. And then the last shuffle, so this is important, on the last one, you have to press the clear to select that, that this is the last one, and then you write next. Okay? And once that's done, it should be, should be okay. So what you do is switch on to play, and hit clear. Hit clear, stop the, stop the sequence, hit clear. And it should go back to the start. So what should happen here now is this will play three times, then this will play once, this will play three times, and then this will play once. Fingers crossed. And as you can see, so that's a kind of quick 
demonstration on what you can do with this in terms of creating those patterns. And if you follow that sequence, what's important is to always remember to press clear when you're finished on the last track before you write it. Because I kept getting stuck with that one. Um, but that's how you kind of combine the tracks together. Now, one thing I find as well is when you are making these tracks, it is kind of uh, difficult to to remember where you are all the time. And when you press play, you might input tracks. It, you might you might join on some tracks to another track you already made. So what I usually do just to clear the whole thing out is go to write, then go to clear. And you can see now I'm on this track. I don't want that. I'm going to go for the first track, let's say, and I'm just going to add in that, 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 that. Just basically keep doing that. Okay, so we'll go back to my mode now, go back to the start. And now I know that it's just that pattern because that's, I went back, I wrote every single pattern in and it's just going to play this one. Okay, so go back to the start. Now I'm going to show you this other thing that you can do. So we know that it, it, this, is, this track is just a full of this one pattern. So we're going to add in the same sequence, but we're going to do something different this time. So in this sequence, we're going to press play. We want this pattern. Going to write that in. That's going back to that sequence. And what we're going to do is select this sequence again. But this time we're going to change the pitch of it. So we're going to go up to this key. Okay, and we're going to write that. Now we're going to push in this pattern. Gonna hit this pitch mode and turn it up a key again. And then write that. And we're gonna make this shuffle. Make this shuffle different. Write that in. And now we're gonna go select this one. Gonna change the pitch of this one to Write that one in. Gonna go, it goes back to this one. We're gonna select this one, change the pitch of this one into this one. Write that in. And go back one more for the third one. Pitch, change it up. Okay, that's the one we wanna write. Write it in. I'm gonna have one more shuffle. And the shuffle. We'll go Oh shit, I forgot to hit the clear. Okay, we're just gonna clear it on that. Okay, so that's not gonna be the perfect timing, but we'll see how that turned out. Hit clear to go back to the start. So you can see there, the last pattern played twice. That was a mistake by me because I forgot to press clear on the eighth bar. I added in an extra bar and it's, you, that can kind of suck sometimes, but I think you can kind of go back and, and review that. Let's say if I, if I need to change that mistake, if I come back, go back to the start, press play and I hit right. I go on to the next one. Go on to the next one. Go on to the next one. That's grand. Yeah. Next one. Next one. Next one. And then we'll hit clear on that. And then hit stop. Now, go on to this and play it again. Oh wait. We have to go back to the start. Go back to the start, play it again. Yeah. So that's perfect now. 
So essentially, there you have it. That's kind of like what you can do with this track mode. I think it's really interesting that the pitch mode can be done like that. You can change it up in pitch and you can have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different songs like that. So it's really good if you kind of pre-make all these kind of tracks. You can have your 303 doing just more than 16 bars. Uh, or is it 16 bars? I don't know how much it is. And I don't know how, how many patterns you can actually string together. I'll have to look that up. Um, so I might get back to you in that with that in the comments if you have any questions. Um, either way, if you do have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have and we'll go through it together. Cool. Oh, and don't forget to click like and subscribe and all the jargon. That's, that's all I ask.